My name is Nick Dunn. We are at Lionheart Jiu-Jitsu and Pasadena Strength Conditioning. When I got into martial arts, I started off when I was really young, maybe around like four or five years old, I started doing karate and I did that for a really long time. I went through high school, played some high school sports. I used to watch K1 kickboxing all the time and I used to watch Pride a lot. I would watch all the guys in the UFC like BJ Penn, like George St. Pierre, all these guys, all the, all the big hitters. And I was like, man, that's, that's cool. And watching those guys fight and watching them compete really motivated me to uh, want to train and, you know, get better. So I decided I wanted to do some mixed martial arts, not just for myself, but it was just uh, just learning the art of something. I felt like I kind of had a chip on my shoulder. I want to learn how to defend myself. I was, I was very small. I was kind of, I was very frail and I still kind of am, but uh, a lot better than I was before. As soon as I started training, I was, I was miserable. I was like the first two months, three months even, I was just getting beat up all the time. I'd kick the bag and my shins would bleed and it was just the worst. My hands would hurt, everything was achy. I'd never done anything like that before. So, um, but I, I wanted to make sure that I made a promise to myself that I was gonna do this and I wanted to kind of see it through. My first fight, it was at a, it was, it was, there was a gym behind a boxing store in Pasadena and it was called Pro Boxing, I think. And there was a gym back there and it was like a smoker. So what they do a smoker is, is they just get two people on the same weight they want to fight, they fight under their own rules that they kind of come up with and they try to match up the same experience, same uh, weight. I just fought some dude, I just fought some guy and it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I was so tired, I got beat up. It, it was cool because it proved a lot to myself and that's what it mostly was, right? It was to prove that kind of, I could get in the ring and do something. I think it was my first six months of training. It was a big milestone for me. I got a couple of concussions and my last concussion I got, I, I was, I felt like I was in a haze for like three, four months. And I just felt very slow, I felt delayed and I knew something wasn't right. After I got out of my system a little bit, I was like, maybe this isn't for me. And I started getting into coaching a little more while I was um, competing. And I just liked that way more. I felt more full. Like when I fought, I felt kind of selfish and I felt like all the attention was on me and I didn't really like that. So once I started coaching and seeing other people get better from what I was able to provide or help them with. I just felt like this is what I wanted to do. I was like, this is way more rewarding. And um, so I'm thankful for all the training that, I've, that I did because it brought me to a place and a career that I never thought I would have. And um, I just love teaching, I love coaching. And I find that is way more fun than getting punched in the face every day. <laughs> but you know, that's just me. I think for the past year, I was trying to not get away from fighting, but kind of put on the back burner or the martial arts in general. But I feel like no matter what I do, it's probably always going to follow me. You know, uh, it's, pro it's definitely one of my first loves for sure. Grew up all, ab all around martial arts, grew up watching it on TV, movies, sports, whatever. But for the most part, I feel like my community is very uh, deep rooted in martial arts. So I feel like it's not going to go away from me. It's always gonna be a part of my life, no matter where I go. It makes me wanna train more and get better. And just watching other people perform and watching my teammates, watching my guys compete, it just pushes me and to, to keep training. I think about if I were to quit the first six months of me training, I wouldn't have what I would have today. And if you were to tell me that, my first six months of training, 18 year old Nick, I'd be like, you're full of shit, dude. You know, like it's something where I didn't think this would happen for me. So just keep pushing forward. You never know what you're gonna do. Just keep doing good work. Um, do the best you can, you know, just the regular bullshit quotes that you hear, but it's really true. A lot of that stuff is so true. I think that's why we, a lot of us got in this fitness industry in the first place is just to help provide a, a broader path for somebody to take that leap if they're afraid to, because a lot of times, a lot of people won't take that first initial step because they're scared, they don't think it's the right time, and um, hopefully I can help inspire somebody to, you know, take that first step and just keep pushing forward and never look back.